It's important to understand dengue fever is a severe problem that's growing worldwide and uh, in Vietnam alone. In 2009 they had an additional 79,000 cases and one district not too far from ours had an increase of 112 percent. Imagine a village that has 15 cases per thousand inhabitants compared to the district that has five cases per thousand, three times the amount, in 2005. Roll forward to 2009 and we have two cases per thousand and the district has gone up to six cases per thousand. So we have an 87 percent decrease in the number of cases of dengue fever in this village. The strategy emphasizes monitoring individual households and educating community members about what they can do to reduce the likelihood of dengue fever. Now it's serious because if a child or an adult gets dengue fever, <clears throat> it will cost them between $150 and $200 for the medical treatments. And there's always the risk that a child, especially, could die. And we've chosen a strategy that uses school children and community volunteers to visit the households in each of the hamlets. A village is made up of hamlets. We have 14 hamlets in our village. And they visit these households on a regular basis. And they inspect and look in the water containers and remind the people that they need to cover the water containers inside the house and outside. They give them little fish to put in the water containers that will eat the larvae. They scrub out uh, areas that are moist. And outside the house, they make sure they break turn over and break the coconut shells, clean up the plastic, get rid of the old tires, all, anything that will contain water where these larvae might develop. Meanwhile, we have easy to read materials for the family and we post them up, different steps that you can do. In addition to these regular visits, we've created student dengue fever prevention clubs. And we have these in five of our schools. They meet monthly. We have anywhere from 40 to 60 students in each club. And there, they learn how to monitor their own house. The project is located in an area where we have a research station that's run by Kanto University. And we see that as a point where you could disseminate these kinds of ideas to surrounding villages. So for example, we'd like to move to one of the villages that has no program at all and uh, work with them to see if we can reduce dengue fever. Um, we think that the efforts of involving the school and the community, while it is time consuming and labor intensive, <coughs> does have the ability to educate and mobilize the community in ways that are congruent with what they want. And this year, for example, we expect to have a much broader set of participation. So the whole idea is that you educate the community, you mobilize the community, and you provide support in a variety of ways uh, for them to actually monitor what they're doing themselves. And as a result, um, we have this terrific reduction in dengue fever and we have a much better educated community.